Hello guys, uh, this is uh, the basics of biology tutorials and unit number 6 and this is the video number 1 about the evolution and this whole unit I am going to talk about evolution and uh, the origin of species but in this fir first video you must talk about different varying views regarding the evolution. Now there are several different views regarding the evolution that came across our mind but uh, two of the views are uh, were pretty famous at uh, that time and one of them is uh, still now uh, famous at the same uh, amplified manner that it was previously right now uh, the two varying views are uh, stated by Lamarck and Charles Darwin now let us look at each of these uh, their hypothesis and uh, nowadays Darwinian hypothesis is taken as uh, much more it, it is much more acclaimed because there are a lot of proofs that are being gathered uh, since the death of Darwin about the, the theory of evolution uh, about the natural selection process of evolution but in case of uh, Lamarck's viewing uh, there are not the uh, supportive evidences and that's why uh, at the first time Lamarckian view uh, catches uh, the eye of uh, scientists but now it is not that much famous it is not not accepted in most of the scientist uh, regional scientific journals and scientific regions now let's move on now uh, the French naturalist uh, J. Baptiste de Lamarck uh, who stated the theory of acquired traits, the theory uh, states something like that, the giraffe seeks food and stretches its neck to acquire the leaves. So according to uh, its theory that uh, the acquired traits, that, that means a particular organism want to acquire a particular trait and uh, for acquiring that trait the organism modifies itself and that's how the new generation, a new type of organism or new species actually generated. It's according to the Lamarck. That means the giraffe seeks food and stretches its neck to acquire the leaves. And continuous stretching results in the longer neck of the giraffe. And the longer neck is passed on to the offspring because it was acquired trait. So that was uh, the theory of Lamarck that after some time of some, some requirement when uh, the organism modifies its own body. Now that modification or acquired characteristic passed on to the offspring. And that's how the new species generated. Now, according to uh, the British naturalist Charles Darwin, uh, with the help of their, his theory of evolution, he suggests uh, that uh, that that uh, it is not the influence. It, it's not uh, the actual uh, influence to acquire some trait, but the actual thing is the actual key for the selection is the nature. So nature selects the particular trait which are favorable in the condition to stay alive at a particular point, and this is called a natural selections or nature's selection. Now the influences of Darwin uh, to, to, to bring this hypothesis forward is utilizing the British tradition of selective breeding between livestocks and domestic pets and pigeons also. And also influence is the observations made while serving on HMS Beagle during a journey to the Gal Galapagos Island for the five years from 1831 to 1836. Now this Galapagos journey changed Darwin's vision about the world. Uh, and and how the world is created and how the creatures are being uh, start uh, uh, are being created in the world now galapagos island are uh, multiple islands short islands uh, small islands or, or it's a combination of short uh, small islands uh, scattered all around uh, here all around the place here it is 900 kilometer away from equator and uh, Santa Cruz and there, there are different Isabella and different islands are there. Now what he did, he, he went to each of these islands, each of these small islands and uh, large islands and start taking samples. Now the samples he uh, found most of the time are finches. Now the finches are a particular type of, uh, uh, of birds that are varying in their beaks. So the structure of the beak, uh, the durability of the beak and the length of the beak are varying from one species to another species. Now Dar Darwin questioned uh, the originate, origination of, uh, of uh, this type of fly, uh, of uh, this type of sorry birds, because uh, he thought that if God created all these things, then uh, why God at all be bothered to create that much of variations in small stretches of islands, which are uh, uh, fewer uh, fewer uh, meters away from each other, right? So that's why. He assumed that the finches, uh, all the finches, are actually descended from a common ancestor that migrated from the mainland. Now here is nowadays you can find this type of different types of finches. Now you can find uh, some of the finches. Uh, let me take a color here. Now you can find that some of the finches are having a pretty strong beak. So this beak is pretty strong as you can see here. Some of them has short beak. 
some of them has uh, longer beak like this one so some of them have very very strong beak to crush the shell of uh, fru fruits and take uh, take the food uh, crush the shell of uh, a seed and take the food from the seed some of them are having uh, this very tiny and uh, and, and, and very thinner uh, beak utilizing the beak it, they can take nectar from the flowers so according uh, to the need of their uh, daily life their beak shape changes okay so so these are the variations and darwin thought that these all the variations are came to exist are come to be existed uh, from a common ancestor which which uh, once placed at the mainland now when the land divides when it is it, it produced a lot of small uh, islands then those mainland birds migrated there and they produces their offspring variation came to be existed because in the mainland these variations existed uh, at those time but very fewer amounts now according to the nature's process when suppose uh, there is a, um, a drought for example and there is only seeds are left not the fruits no, not the fruits not the flowers only the seeds because seeds are hard they can stay in the harsh environment so seeds are left at that time so in those situations only those finches can survive who, who can take the food out of those seeds and in those situations this type of finches the large ground finches can survive and other uh, populations will go down in those situation that's how uh, the selection occurs and a particular type of finch population uh, goes up and up now this is the natural selection variations so among the species there are different types of uh, giraffes for example if you take giraffes as an example now there are small neck giraffe there are a larger neck giraffe maybe the large neck giraffes were uh, were very fewer amounts at the beginning time and uh, shorter neck giraffes are larger amount present at those time now what happens when the natural selection op occurs so this variation was there among the species at the beginning of the selection now when the nature brings the situations when the, the small trees are abolished only the larger trees were there because the food uh, sources for the smaller trees are gone on those situations because uh, all of those giraffes are uh, relying on the sh uh, short tree food short tree leaves right now only the long trees uh, live at those situations so, so those kind of giraffes which are having the larger neck a longer neck can survive at those situation so that's how the longer neck giraffes are suggested are selected by the nature so that was uh, the idea of charles darwin that yes that's how the longer neck giraffes were originated now here you can see the same theory shorter neck giraffe cannot eat those uh, this, the leaf of the larger plant so only those uh, who, which are having the longer neck are selected uh, by this nature now the question that darwin couldn't answer that time uh, in also in, in in his book in his famous book of origin of species by means of natural selection the questions were like what was the source of variation within a species how did new traits arise now at those time darwin didn't knew all these things but he suggested that yes that time this these are the question that must be answered that's why charles darwin was afraid to publish his work because he hadn't gathered a lot of information to support his theory that's why it is a theory still a theory in our time its theory uh, it's not a theory actually it's it's theory a hypothesis still now at time okay so we need to gather the informations now darwin suggested that it's the job of the future scientists to gather the informations because there must be some reasons to gather this variation so what are the sources of the variation now we know the genes the alleles how they vary during the segregation of the chromosome crossing over recombination transposition and all these different techniques nowadays we start to gather the information and how did the traits arise how a uh, spontaneous trait arises answer mutation remember in our previous videos we have talked about mutation that mutation can lead to a positive effect and the only positive effect a mutation can lead up to is that arise of a new trait which is positive for the organism now the organism can survive with the help of that mutation okay and that's how new traits can arise so traits could be positive or negative uh, for for the organism it depends upon uh, the situation the organisms are dealing with but this kind of traits can be arise by mutations okay so that's it and we must know the life of charles darwin uh, to together because the idea of evolution by by the means of natural selection is uh, is suggested to be the best idea 
anyone ever had in 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 whole universe okay so that's it and i hope it will help you you can visit nova because there are a lot of fascinating documentaries about evolution you can go pbs nova and you can find this uh, animations you can find those videos and also a beautiful documentary called the darkest hour of charles and the darkest hour this is a great documentary you can look at it and you can learn actually be, uh, what what is the framework what is the future story for, what is the sorry what is the past story what is the backup story or backstage story uh, about uh, the uh, the publishing of the book of charles darwin okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you